So, uh, we would like to thank you, the Eco Spring Tri Editorial Board, for agreeing to do this interview. Uh, the goal of the interview is to give, um, I would say, your constituency uh, a better idea of what you actually do and what role the spokespeople have in FYG itself. So, uh, to start off, first question is why are you politically active? And we'd uh, like for both of you to answer all the questions. Divide the time naturally. I'm particularly active because I would like to strive for a change. Um, I started being politically active maybe four or five years ago. Actually, my member organization and FOG were the ones that brought me so much into politics. Um, and um, my first event was one uh, seminar on democracy where we were talking about the democratic justice in the European Union also in our history and this was some topic that was quite a lot on my heart and that made me to get into the green ideas more at that point regarding um, citizen participation but further on getting more and more topics and the more and more involved um, in the green ideas if we want to um, get a change in this society, if we want to show that youth have the future in our hands, then it's very important that we are politically active. Um, well, I could only agree to everything that you said. And I also want to thank the Episcopal Board, that they individual in this very professional way, I'm really clever guys about it. Um, and I'm politically active because I want to, you know, change the world. That's how I started out. And then um, I guess there's a lot of young people outside there who kind of don't agree with what is happening right now in terms of inequality in the, in the society, in terms of um, discrimination against minorities, against class, against people of color. And um, we need to change this. I mean, we're thinking in terms of 50 years when uh, we have uh, actually succeeded and uh, all of the young Greens in all over Europe have kind of grown up and changed something in their society and we want to create this beautiful future in Europe. And, uh, uh, and what do you say is your biggest success you've had as a spokesperson? Well, I think the last year, uh, we were also last year spokesperson. We had a campaign which was uh, unprecedented in FYG. We had fundraised around 160,000 euros for it. We were supporting uh, young candidates. We, had, we were supporting our member organizations to do activities. We had massive amounts of material which we could distribute. We, I think we were really able to, to show that um, the young Greens in Europe, they, they fight for, this, for the, the same cause and we were successful in a way and it's not we as spokespersons, it's the young people, the young green people in, in also getting lots of young um, people elected into the, um, into the European Parliament and I think that's, that's great and it's, it's bolstered also the, the reputation of FYG, I think lots of people know now about FYG. Also, we have won the primary um, with Mika Keller, uh, which was an effort which was only possible because young Greens all over Europe uh, like supported Mika and went um, to the debate. So I guess that this was two good things we did. And also being a spokesperson is related with a lot of communication. I mean, on one side, we depend on a teamwork teamwork with the executive committee, a teamwork with our member organizations, working groups, and that's what we are trying to do. A lot of communication and uh, productive work together with them. So this is what we did last year. We were communicating quite a lot with people and we tried to represent FOG at different events, so the voices of our organization. And what would you say your biggest failure has been? Pretty much that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, working in a youth organization is kind of always failure. <laughs> we are here at the working groups meeting. I remember the last one and the last one and the last one. 
So, and it's always we, we make big plans for you. Every working group, like they, you know, they want to conduct three seminars and have an online campaign, and then we maybe implement 10% of it. So we can, this is failures, but on the other hand, it's also modus operandi. Thank you. 